Hello everyone. We will continue that topic. How to send a ALV output as an email attachment. And in the previous videos, we finished with the practical part. And in the last video, I showed you each and everything in the debugging mode for SAP user. I showed the email sending process for the SAP user. And I'm able to check the mail in my inbox and the transaction code is SBWP. Now, same to same process we will understand now for external user, external recipient or external email address. So as a part of that, what I will do, I will simply uncomment the logic for the external recipients or external users or external email address. And I will comment the logic for SAP user. Just for the best understanding, I am taking one at a time so that we will get the best clarity. Now, now we will go for first important point here. Now we are sending the mail from SAP end to the external recipient or external user or external email address. Now you all know very well because we already studied in our college curriculum also, yes. Whenever we want to send a mail, we need a protocol. What is the name of the protocol? SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Whenever we want to send a mail, we need a protocol that is Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. We already studied in our college curriculum, yes. Whenever we are sending the mail, this protocol is required. Now, in my current SAP system, this protocol is not configured. Now, so does it mean that I cannot check the result? Yes, I can easily check the result at SAP end. Yes, I will not be able to see the mail in my Gmail inbox. But yes, I can check from SAP end that whatever I have done, that process is correct or not. Now from SAP end, we have a transaction code that is SOST. If the your entry, whatever the main process you are doing, if you are getting the entry into SOST transaction code, it means whatever you are doing is successfully processed. Whatever you have done is correctly, correctly done. After that, whenever SMTP protocol will be there or if the SMTP protocol is already configured, the mail will go to external recipient or external inbox. But it does not mean that if SMTP is not configured, you cannot check the result. From your end, your only, only target is whatever you are doing, you must get a entry into SOST transaction code. That is the point, last point of entry from SAP end. After that, whenever SMTP is there, if it is already configured or if it is not there, yes, mail will go to recipient inbox, depends upon the configuration of the same. But our target is entry should go to SOST transaction code. From the interview perspective, it is very important transaction code. Many times interviewer asks, how you can check from your end, whatever the email process you have done is successfully done or not. So simple answer is with the help of SOST transaction code, I can check because you cannot go to this recipient inbox and check that mail has been delivered or not. Yes, because for that SMTP protocol is required, but you can easily check from in the SAP end through SOST transaction code. If I will show you this transaction code, anyways, whenever we'll go for practical part, it will make more sense. SOST. If I will go for SOST transaction code, you can see into this transaction code, we will get the entry. If I am getting an entry here, it means my email process is successfully done from my end. Whenever SMTP will be there or it will be automatic or it will, or it will be configured, the mail will go to recipient inbox. Now we will understand each and everything in that debugging mode. 
and I will show you the entry in SOST transaction code. I will simply go for execute. So it does not mean that if SMTP is not there, you cannot verify your result. You can verify your result through SOST transaction code. Yes, if I'm executing, yes, we have two records into this internal table. This process I already explained in the debugging mode. So we'll simply move forward. I will come here. Creation of external email address. You can see as of now, the object is blank. Now the object will create. So for this email address, this object has been created. Now I'm adding this as a recipient. Done. Now we are going for one more email address also. You can see hello external user one, it is blank. Now it is created. Now we are adding that also as a recipient. Done. Now we are preparing the subject of the mail, body of the mail. This process is already explained. And we are creating the document. You can see. So as of now, the object of this document class is blank. Now the object is created. Now we are going for attachment. Done. Now we are setting the document. Now we set send immediately is activated. Done. Now we are going for set. If we are getting that true result, it means yes, that document has been sent successfully. You can see LV underscore result is capital X. It means the document has been sent successfully. Now, in case of external email address, do not forget to go for commit work. If it is internal user or SAP user, it's okay. You can skip this part. But now we are going for external user. So no, do not forget to go for commit work. Commit work is done. Now we are displaying the ALB output. Now, this mail will not go to my inbox. Suppose if I will check my inbox, I provide my email address, mail will not come to my inbox because SMTP is not configured. But it does not mean that I cannot verify that whatever I have done is successfully done or not. So I can check with the help of SOST transaction code. I will go to SOST transaction code, extremely important transaction code. And you can see I got the entry. This is the latest entry, 1216, 1216. And I got two entries because you all know I provided two email address. This is first email address. This is second email address. This is the subject, let's see. Subject is very clearly, clearly. This is the date, number of sales order, date, number of sales order. You can see attachment. If I will simply go for this and display. You can see each and everything is there. Subject, body of the mail. If I will go for attachment. You can see this is the attachment. So it means the process is successfully done. Everything is perfectly fine from our end. Whenever SMTP will be configured, yes, it will go to recipient inbox. I'll just show you how you will get the SMTP error. Suppose, just see as of now. Now, suppose I want to send this. I want to send this from this SAP. I want to send it to my inbox. This is my inbox. This is my email address. Suppose I will process this. Now you can see it is saying start send process for selection. Suppose I want to send this. I will go for yes. I will get a error. It will say yes, SMTP is not configured. Now you can see the entry converted to red color. And if I will see the message, it is clearly saying if I will go for OK, it is saying Message cannot be transferred because SMTP is failed. Simple mail transfer connection error is there. So this is the way how you can verify also anyways 
from your end, your target is to check the entry into SOSK transaction. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important video because real project, we always, always rely on the external email addresses because we want to send the mails to Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, whatever the customer inboxes are there. So after, as a part of that, we simply understood each and everything in the debugging mode. I commented the logic for SAP user. I uncommented the logic for external user and we checked. The object created, yes, and we are adding those as a recipient. Now, the most important part, whenever you want to transfer the mail, to transfer the mail, SMTP protocol is required. It means SMTP must be configured if you want to check in external inbox. So, you can say your inbox, but it does not mean that you cannot check the result. You cannot verify the result from your end you need to check the entry in SOST transaction code. That is the last point of entry from SAP end. After that, yes, if SMTP is configured, mail will guarantee, guarantee go to the recipient inbox. Yes, then I showed you in SOST, I am getting two entries for the same. This one and this one, I showed you subject, I showed you body, I showed you attachment. Then I showed you also, if I want to send this, if I want to send this entry, yes, system is giving me the error that SMTP is not configured. That's why this mail is not getting transferred. So this is our whole topic, how to send a ALV output in the Excel format to this external or SAP user. Many people ask about this particular topic. We already covered smart form. PDF as in how to send a smartphone PDF as an email attachment, how to send a Adobe form as an email attachment. Now this is all about how to send a ALV output as an email attachment. So that's it in this video. Thank you.